Hello everyone, what's going on? I am Carlos, I am a normal guy here on the internet sharing my crypto path, my journey in trying to make money for my family in crypto. I am not a financial advisor, so everything I'm saying here is what I think, what I've been researching, and I'm basically sharing a lot of things here in the channel with you. If you're new to the channel, make sure to smash up the like button and subscribe to the channel, please. Is the bottom in? Or is the market going to keep crashing forever? Guys, nothing goes up forever, nothing goes down forever. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be looking at some charts that suggest that the bottom might be in. I'm going to look at some um, bullish news, and in the end, I'm going to show you why we still need to be a little bit careful and we should not go all in. Make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy. Let's get started. This is the Bitcoin rainbow price chart. In previous cycles, BTC always got to the red section, which basically says here, maximal bubble territory. However, in this cycle, barely touched the orange section, which says here, FOMO intensifies. However, now it is in the blue section. According to this chart, the blue section is a fire sale and the price should pick up very shortly after it reaches this section. Let's hope that this is right this time. Market is up a little bit. The bloodbath seems to have calmed down. The interesting thing here though is that out of the top six cryptocurrencies, three are stable coins. Tether has a market cap of $67 billion. USDC uh, is at $55 billion and Binance USD is at $17 billion. If we take into consideration other smaller stable coins such as DAI and HUSD, there are almost $150 billion sitting in stable coins right now. This is about 150 times more than the bear market in 2017, basically the last bear market. Well, 2017 was the bull market, right? If history repeats itself, when the time comes, FOMO will cause a violent rally. Check out this chart for the market capitalization of Tether. Uh, it went right above $80 billion in January, February 2022, and now it's sitting around the $70 billion mark. But the total stable market cap is over $150 billion. More bullish news, the minor net position has... More bullish news, this chart shows the minor net position change. And in June, the miners have started accumulating BTC again. After a long period of sell-off, between the end of April and the beginning of June, uh, you can now see here that the miners are finally accumulated BTC again. It could be bullish. But hey, short term, anything can happen. BTC actually printed bullish divergences in the RSI for many time frames. So right now we can look at the three hour time frame. There was a bullish divergence printed around um, 11 a.m. on June 19th, so about two days ago. In the four hour time frame, there was also another bullish diversion printed June 19th in the evening, and there was a little bit of a relief rally after those bullish diversions. Diversions have been printed, but hey, the price is getting into the overbought section again, so. Um, I, I would not advise anybody to go all in yet. If you are a long-term investor, dollar cost averaging is always a good strategy if you believe in it long-term. Short-term, anything can happen. In the daily time frame, though, it is still very oversold. The RSI is still very low. However, a bullish divergence was printed back in May. There was a little bit of a relief rally then. And now we don't have a bullish divergence in the daily time frame. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. And remember, none of it is financial advice. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.